Welcome to this tutorial for Abacus Major Donor Ask Calculator. By now you have gone to donorabacus.com and have signed up for a one week unlimited use of this calculator. And you have signed in and have reached this page that we're looking at right now. On the way to this page, upon your first registration, you will have come across uh, an instruction page that helps to outline uh, some uh, key information. One in particular is roughly what you will need in terms of information to complete the 20 questions presented to you by the calculator. And these are pieces of information you should have available to you through your database and through your discovery with the donor. The calculator can only be used with people who have already given to your organization, that they are already donors. Special notes include the fact that a donor can be an individual or a couple. Uh, and for best results, when you are determining their uh, their wealth capacity and their philanthropic capacity, if they are separately evaluated to take the information from the wealthier of the two people who are part of the couple. It's also best if the donor has given cumulatively at least $500 to your organization. We'll go back to uh, the uh, homepage. And we can start a new profile either with this button or with this button here, which we'll use. First, the donor details, the name of your donor. You can, you can put in the age this way, or you can type it in. And then what their work status is working. If there's a spouse or a partner, you can put that person's name in here uh, as with the first, but you don't need to. Going on to the next uh, page, we talk about giving history. So what's the donor's lifetime giving amount to your organization? And I'm going to make up a number and say $5,000. And the total number of gifts given to your organization, let's say that's eight. And the largest one time actual gift to your organization, so the largest check or contribution they've given to your organization. Let's call it $1,000 and just hit next. Next is their donor is the donor philanthropic capacity, so the donors lowest range capacity estimate, what do I mean by that if you're using. Uh, services like Wealth Engine or iWave or Donor Search, they will give you a range, a dollar range of what that donor is capable of giving to all philanthropic interests over a three year period. And so this asks for the lowest number of that range. So if the range is $25,000 to $50,000, then put in the $25,000. What's the largest known cash uh, gift the donor has made to another organization? So what have they done for other interests of theirs? Either you know that answer, or in this case, we'll say we don't know that answer, and we just put a zero in there. We'll go next. Now, involvement. This is where we get very specific to your organization. How has this person been involved with your organization? Are they currently a board member? No. Uh, have they served on a board committee that they can serve on it, even if they are not a board member? So for instance, like the finance committee or the gala committee, uh, regardless of their current status, has the donor ever served on the board before? In other words, have they served their full terms and they took off a, a year and then perhaps they came back on the board or not. But let's say that this person once was on, their, on your board. 
Uh, is the person serve on the board of other nonprofit organizations? You may not know that, although through discovery, hopefully you would find that out. And does the donor have a close relationship with a board member or senior executive of your organization? As you know, in this business, relationships matter. Organization engagement, how have they been involved with you? Does a donor attend your events? Yes. How about written an estate or gift intention? You don't know. Does the donor have a memorial, or have they made a memorial uh, gift to your organization? No. And have they made an in-kind contribution? So for instance, a, 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 so an item for a silent auction would be an, an example of that. And they have not. Donor interest and readiness to give. So the presumption is if as you are a good gift officer, you've had some discovery visits, you've gotten to know your donor and you want to, and you think that uh, they are interested in your campaign or your initiative or the reason you're asking them for a three-year pledge. Is the gift purpose for which you're asking consistent with the state donor stated interest? Yes, it is. Have they made giving sounds? Yes, what do I mean by giving sounds? They have indicated that they have interest and that they want to support uh, what your organization's initiative is about. Have they made financial stress comments like, gee, I have four kids in college or uh, uh, we're redoing our kitchen or I'm obligated through other pledges to other organizations at this time. That's an example of financial stress comments. And is at least one member of the ask team liked and respected by the donor? Well, that was, should certainly be the case in terms of you building out your team. Here's an opportunity for you to add some inf additional information that you might normally have uh, in your um, preparation for an ask. So you may have contact notes from prior meetings with the donor, uh, information from volunteers who know the donor. And here you might want to uh, indicate who should be on the ask team. So, so uh, uh, you know, Sue, Larry, and Tom should be on the ask team. This way, all of these um, other notes can be part of uh, your profile output that comes from the calculator. So here we are ready to go. This gives you a chance to go through the information that you've provided, uh, make any changes, go back and edit any changes that you might want to make. And when you're ready to go, just hit calculate. And here we are. So let's begin first in the middle. This pledge ask is a the aspirational three-year pledge you can confidently and respectfully ask for from your donor. This is based on objective, non-biased information specific to your organization. The pledge goal is a realistic expectation based on the ask amount. So you don't always get the full amount that you ask for, uh, but uh, the goal gives you an idea of what you should reasonably expect. And so far, our data based on actual pledges, we're coming in at about 98% of actual pledges. That's how accurate this goal figure is. This, ready, this ask readiness score uh, gives you an idea of are you ready to make the ask? Do you have enough information? And this score gives you uh, an idea of if you're ready. So 84% puts you in the, you're not quite ready yet. You need to do more research and more discovery. Is the donor ready to be asked? Well, if they accept the meeting to talk about a gift, then they are ready to be asked. Now, tips for asking and closing a gift. What we're providing you here is um, a breakdown of what this $26,000 um, 
looks like on an uh, looks like on an annual basis. And sometimes when you're talking to a donor about a gift, if you break it down and say, can you give us $9,000 a year for three years versus asking for $26,000 a year? Um, believe it or not, that makes a difference to people. If they think about it on an annual basis, they, they know what they can afford. Uh, with regard to after tax, sometimes um, if, if you consider what the individual's uh, tax situation is, uh, this may be of interest to them, and you can discuss that after you take a deduction for your contribution, that it's really only $6,000 out of pocket. Uh, should you discuss an estate gift during your conversation with the donor? And we give you a recommendation uh, based on the information you have provided. We certainly encourage you in all cases, when uh, you have this calculation done to review the uh, amount with uh, your team, uh, other people who know the donor, other people on a development team, uh, uh, as appropriate, so that you can come up with a final number. Now, you may want to round the number. So, for instance, you may want to ask for $25,000 versus $26,000. The calculator uh, gives you a specific number that may not be uh, a round number that is typically used in an ask. And then here, I'm not going to go through it, gives you some tips about how to, what language to use in discussing uh, an, uh, a gift with your donor. Now let's go to the profile library. In the library, you will find all of the profiles that you had run, and it provides you a summary of the donor's name when you ran the profile, your readiness score, recommended pledge ask amount and pledge goal, and an opportunity to submit your status with regard to asking for the pledge. So you'll see some of these have numbers where pledges have been uh, put in and others where it says not asked because the the donor hasn't been asked yet. But once you have asked your donor, you click on the pencil. And it gives you some options. The options include not asked, pending, pledge given, or the pledge was declined. If the pledge was given, it then asks you for an amount that um, was given on that pledge. Let's put in $20,000. And you'll see here that it's now filled in. You also have the opportunity to see the summary, the results page you've already seen, uh, the detail back to all of the answers that you provided in a summary fashion, including the recommended ask amounts, and so forth. You can also download into a CSV file your summary data or the complete profile data of all of your profiles. This is very useful in valuing your portfolio and valuing your donor pipeline because if you use the pledge goal amount, uh, so far, the calculator has been within 2% of the actual pledges being given compared to what the calculator is suggesting you will realize. So it's a very good tool to use to properly value your portfolios. Then when you're all completed and you want to go back and start another calculation, you can either go back to your using this button, Calc Home, or begin a donor profile. And there you are, ready to go again. We appreciate your interest in using Abacus and hope that you will find it of great value to you and for you to uh, subscribe so that you will always have it available uh, for your use.